Perfect. Good evening. Uh, welcome to Asia Blockchain Community. Uh, Asia Blockchain Community is a Singapore-based uh, English-speaking community, and we have branches in uh, China, Korea, and many other uh, Southeast Asian countries. And today, we're honored to have John from French Connection. And uh, welcome, John. Thank you. Thank you for having us and having me here during that AMA. Cool. Uh, and my name is Jenny, and I am the co-founder of Blockcast. Okay, let's get it started. Okay, the first question, can you give us a brief introduction of yourself and your team, your background, what you do before, and how did you get into the industry? So I've been in crypto since 2011 or 2012. I'm unsure when was the first time I got in crypto. It started with Bitcoin. Uh, back then, Bitcoin, I had to go to Western Union and send money to China so people would send me Bitcoin. Uh -huh. uh, I don't remember the value, but it was pretty low and I did not know that Bitcoin would be worth so much today. Mm -hmm. So I was spending my Bitcoin back then. Mm -hmm. uh, eventually, Quadriga QX, I think was the name of the exchange came. And I started trading Litecoin, uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin. But by then the price was higher. Mm -hmm. And after that, I became a trader of crypto and I started buying more crypto, Ethereum, LPC, XRP, and until smart contract came around, I was strictly on Binance doing trades. Mm -hmm. But when the smart contract came in, I spotted the potential that it could have and what you could build on a smart chain. Because mm -hmm. back then you had to build on the blockchain which would take a lot of work and you need a lot of funds to do it. So I decided to focus on the smart contract and build on it because everyone building on the smart, smart contract at the moment are either scamming people or they're not serious mm -hmm. about it. But there's a lot of potential in uh, the smart contract. So I have decided to take that into my hand and build a project on a smart contract that will eventually go on a blockchain mm -hmm. and push it to the place it should be. Cool. And uh, do you want to share share with us uh, maybe a brief introduction of your team, team member? So the team, I have started alone oh. when I launched FCF. I have mm -hmm. hired a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of people that believed in the project and joined us. Mm -hmm. We have four programmers, two web devs, we have two graphic designers, we have over 15 community managers that uh, mm -hmm. manage different language. Uh, and I don't know if I'm forgetting anyone, but we are now a pretty big team. Mm -hmm. But at first, I started alone. Wow, it's glad to know that you guys like really rich experience. Glad yeah, we that. did. Yeah, it's been um, a long journey. Yeah, because like uh, our community have a lot of lot of questions to ask. I'm holding the question sheet. And the second question is um, the French connection. I, I see you wear the shirt. I really like it. And can you tell yeah. us more about the project? The project or the name? Um, yeah, maybe both. Like why you okay. name it so, French connection? So the name came from two things. Mm -hmm. The real French connection, which were smugglers in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. Mm -hmm. Since we give people BND, we smuggle money into their wallet, was mm -hmm. part of it. And mm -hmm. the other part is for the French bulldog. <laughs> I own a French bulldog, and oh. everyone knows him. It's Gaudi, and Gaudi's here. Wow. So everyone knows Gaudi. Hi, Gaudi. So it comes from him also. Oh my God. Uh, is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. It's a boy. Hi. Hi, Gordy. So it comes from Gordy also. Oh my God, it's so cute. And all the branding of French Connection is based on Gordy. So we have stickers of Gordy. We have the NFT collection of Gordy. Uh, he's all around the place. Mm -hmm. Now for French Connection Finance, what we are, we mm -hmm. are a dividend token, which means we reward holders just to have FCF. So when you own mm -hmm. FCF, you receive VNDs every day. 
Oh. Uh, the other thing is we are, well, I'm not going to say building because we're almost done building it, but we are about to release a crypto payment gateway for e-commerce, cell phone application, mm -hmm. and um, the metaverse, and mm -hmm. eventually physical stores, which would allow merchants to accept crypto as payments online, mm -hmm. any crypto they want for mm -hmm. their goods or products. So it's going to be named FCFP. This is what we're building. And we have a huge ecosystem and we're building more application like FCF World Connect. Mm -hmm. And all the fees collected from the ecosystem gets broken down in three categories. The first one is a buyback mm -hmm. and a burn. Mm -hmm. So the ecosystem buys into FCF and burns the token it bought. The other one sends money to the holders. So just by being an SDF holder, you earn BNB from the ecosystem and from the volume. Mm -hmm. And the third part is for the marketing, the team, and the, the, the creation of new programs that we keep. So it's split in three, one third for each. Mm -hmm. uh, so can you so this is what down, we're doing. Uh, can, you, can you break it down the tokenomics, like expand it a little bit more? Tokenomic is 2% liquidity pool acquirement. Mm -hmm. 3% marketing tax and 5% reflection. Mm. So 5% reflection and BNB. Uh -huh. So it's like totally like 10%? 10%, yeah. Ah, cool. So it's like uh, I just hold the token, then I can earn money every day. That's it. You earn every 24 mm. hours fully automated. You receive BNB. So I just put it in my wallet, then it's automatic. Exactly. And the more mm. FCF you have, the more... BNB you get. I don't love like to receive more BNB. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question number three. Uh, can you tell us more about your buyback feature? The buyback is a manual buyback. Mm -hmm. So I personally, from marketing wallet, do buybacks occasionally mm -hmm. to push the chart with when there's a momentum going up or if there's a momentum going down, I fight it with it also. It's not an automated buyback, it's a manual buyback that mm -hmm. I call through. Mm -hmm. So it can kind of maintain the price in the in the right direction, right? Exactly, so instead of have it, having $5 buybacks mm -hmm. over time, we do thousands one after the other. So we can have a bigger, buyback power of 5,000, 10,000. Last buyback was 20,000 during the same day. So it really helps with momentum. Let's say we have a good marketing campaign happening. We're gonna use a buyback to do buybacks during that campaign. So it's a better way to control the logistic behind the buyback, uh, buyback and not having it fully automated. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, that leads us to the next question. And uh, after reading your white paper and um, the FC, F, uh, FCF pay stand out most, uh, can you explain the benefit to people who join your ecosystem? Like why should people buy it or join it? So FCF pay is the crypto payment gateway that I talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. So FCF pay allows, let's say you are a merchant and you sell mm -hmm. shoes online. Currently, you can only accept a uh, credit card or PayPal mm -hmm. in America. I don't know about uh, about China, but that's how it works yeah, it's in Europe and America. Mm -hmm. Okay. But no one can accept crypto. Mm -hmm. FCF Pay allows you to put prices of your goods in crypto and in fiat also. But it's not mm -hmm. only Bitcoin or Ethereum. We allow all tokens. It can be Shiba Inu, it can be uh, Dogecoin, it can be whatever token that you want to accept. Uh -huh. And when you receive the crypto, you have the automated swap feature that puts it in a stable coin. So you don't have to lose money on volatility or even gain. You can keep it in stable coin. Refreshery is safe like that. That's quite convenient. And the fees on it are from 1% to 1.5% if you are not an FCF holder. Obviously, if you are an FCF holder, the, cheese, uh, the fees are cheaper. Oh. And a third of all the fees goes back in the dividend pool. So mm -hmm. it goes back to the holders. 
And the other third goes for buyback and burn. Mm -hmm. So it buys into FTF, which raises the value of FTF, and then it burns the token that it bought, so it lowers the supply. supply. So mm -hmm. the two of them make mm -hmm. the price go up all the time. Because on every transaction, mm -hmm. this feature kicks in. Mm -hmm. So it's a deflation system. It is it's a deflation system with a push mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. But this is based on an ecosystem and not only on the volume. So we have FCF pay. We have another one that I cannot talk about. It's FCF will connect. Mm -hmm. This is bigger than FCF pay. So this tool will be buying back and burning a lot of tokens. Mm -hmm. Every application and the ecosystem mm -hmm. will be doing that pattern. Mm -hmm. Cool. So that is the benefit for, for those people who buy on the platform. And how about the sellers like who, who, who sell the products? Like what's they the pay 10% fee okay. and uh, mm -hmm. you, you mean the sellers of the token? Oh, no, no, the sellers of like the products, the, the vendors of the products. Oh, well, one, there's no hold on their funds. Two, they can support mm -hmm. the token they like. Mm -hmm. So if uh, you like Shiba Inu, you can accept Shiba Inu. Mm -hmm. Three, that's a lot of exposure to crypto enthusiasts. Mm -hmm. So if you start accepting SafeMoon or Shiba Inu or Dogecoin, mm -hmm. you're going to get exposure from those communities to your e-commerce. Mm -hmm. Four, the fees are half what PayPal charges. Mm -hmm. It's way less. And five, you there's like I said, there's no hold. You get the money directly into your wallet. The fees are cheaper. Mm -hmm. Those are the main benefits of it. Cool. So it's like more convenient and it connects more people, attracts more volume. Which is exactly. And you can accept crypto. Mm -hmm. You receive crypto. So if you are someone that invests in crypto, you won't have to go through buying crypto, paying mm -hmm. fees, doing this, doing that. You can yeah. get it directly in your, uh, in your wallet. And also mm -hmm. crypto with FCF pay will become like the cash of the internet. Since mm -hmm. you're not collecting credit card information anymore. So you can accept, you can sell to people that don't own credit cards. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no restriction mm -hmm. from the credit cards. Some websites don't allow you to use credit cards on it. So now you can accept crypto from it. There is no restriction when it comes to it. So yeah, you, can yeah. Open, yeah, yeah, you can open your, uh, mm -hmm. your, uh, main, uh, your stream of sales when it comes to the e-commerce. Yes, like um, uh, I heard from like many of my friends, they want to buy something from the US, like Amazon, and they have to exchange their like uh, the Chinese yuan to uh, USD, and that's like yeah. a, a lot of like a lot of work. And the no, there is not that. Side. You can send the crypto, and that's it. Cool. Uh, that is really convenient. And uh, next question: Can you explain? Uh, the compounded uh, dividend to our users, oh, uh, like so they can understand this aspect of your token. So the compounded feature of it is you are getting paid in BND. Mm -hmm. BND is an ever-growing crypto. Yeah. On the long run, BND will always get more expensive. So not only you receive BND, mm -hmm. but in two years, the BND that you have received is worth even more than the current value of it. So it's a compounded of it. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you want to use your BNB mm -hmm. to buy more FCF, mm -hmm. this will reward you even more BNB down the road. Oh. So th this is where the compound comes from. Mm -hmm. Got it. And the next question is the, uh, the credit card that you are setting up. Are there any countries that may be affected in the use case when trying to apply for this? We are not creating a credit card. We are creating the credit card and crypto payment gateway. Oh. It's not a physical card. It's mm -hmm. the gateway that allows crypto mm -hmm. and credit card payment mm -hmm. online and in mm -hmm. real commerce and on the metaverse and cell phone applications. Mm -hmm. Eventually down the road in two years, three years, 
yes, we will have a credit card, but it's going to work the same way that the Binance credit card works, the same way that any crypto credit card works. Mm -hmm. So this is not our main selling point. It's more of a bonus to the people that hold FCF. Yeah, so the main is still the FCF pay to be It is, and FCF will connect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the next question is, uh, how does your marketing plan looks like? Uh, they want to know your marketing plan for 2022. Uh, and what have you planned? So 2022, mm -hmm. we are getting, we are releasing, sorry, FCF pay. This okay. is where the big marketing kicks in. Mm -hmm. We have sales team ready to sell FCF pay. We have a marketing team ready to do marketing. We have big influencers on board. We're going to be working with celebrities from Hollywood to market FCF and FCF pay. We have celebrities around the world, people that are famous that are going to be working on it. We have email campaign. We have newsletter of um, over a million emails of uh, crypto investors that are going to be receiving a brochure of FCF pay and FCF. Uh, we have the daily marketing that we do on Reddit, on KuCoin, on Bug Finance, on all those platforms, we are very aggressive when it comes to marketing. But we are holding our big marketing campaign for when the first platform of our token gets released. So we are not anymore a token that is about to release something. We want to push the marketing when we have released SCF. Cool. So we have a lot of marketing and a big marketing campaign set for when a CFP gets launched. Okay, and you are also doing AMA with us. We also have a mailing list for like 50K of crypto users. So they will all receive our AMA today. Oh, we do weekly AMAs. And I must do at least two to three AMAs every week. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's AMAs very good. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next question is, um, can you share with us your listing plan? So the first place we got listed was Peg Exchange. Mm -hmm. and this is an amount. We did mm -hmm. all that last month. We got listed mm -hmm. on Elbyte. Mm -hmm. We got listed on Hotbit, mm -hmm. on Coinsbit, mm -hmm. on LA Token. Four mm -hmm. exchange in four weeks. Oh. Our next milestone that we want to list on mm -hmm. will be Great IO and KuCoin. Uh -huh. This is our next step. We are working towards it. We want mm -hmm. more holders, more volume, mm -hmm. a bigger community, and then we're going to use that leverage to list on those two exchanges. Mm. Now, step by step is, is, is good. Uh, like, uh, yeah. about when? Like, will you keep us updated with your listing plan? Uh, I would like to get it listed in the, like, the next quarter, so the next, oh, next three months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, got Within it. Within the next quarter. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next question is, um, I see the nice NFTs on your, on your website. Uh, is, it, uh, is that part of your revenue, uh, revenue model, the NFTs? So the NFTs is mm -hmm. www.frenchfellows.com. We have 2,000 unique NFTs, 10 of them being legendary. Males mm -hmm. and females can make babies and have baby NFTs too, and can earn NFTs. Mm -hmm. uh, if you get a legendary, you can win up to $10,000 USD if you mint one. Now there's only 2,000 NFTs. We have over 12,000 holders. Mm -hmm. People are going to be selling them after on mm -hmm. OpenSea when they are fully minted because we just launched now. Mm -hmm. On the selling and buying, there is a 3.5% royalty fee mm -hmm. that we collect on every trade. Mm -hmm. That percentage, a percentage of it will be sent into the ecosystem also. So it's going to go to the dividend pool, the buyback and burn also. So oh, it so is part of the ecosystem. So everybody can mint the NFT on your website or is there like any like uh, rules like they have to? There is no rules. You go on the website, you mint it now, but they're mm -hmm. going to be so soon sold out. Mm -hmm. Now is the time to mint. Okay. Like, like how much has uh, sold out already? 
I think we are almost at 500 and we launched uh, about uh, 10 hours ago. Oh, yeah, we have to hurry up. Okay. Yeah. So right after this, I'll check it out. And um, okay, the next question is, um, and they want to know like, uh, is there any other revenue models like for your, for your platform? What is the other revenue model other than the fees and the NFT sales and is there others? It's all about the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. There is no other revenue model than the, the mm -hmm. ecosystem. It's all based on the ecosystem and will always be based on the ecosystem. And it's always like beneficial to the token price because you're always, yeah. price, okay? oh, which is cool. And the next question, oh, the last question of the basic questions is, uh, can you share, uh, share with us a quote? Like it's our tradition, like can be anything. The quote. Like, mm -hmm. the quote. Communities build great projects Mm -hmm. And dishonest devs kill great projects. <laughs> so if you take out dishonesty uh -huh. from the equation, you are mm -hmm. left with greatness. Mm. Yeah, I like that one. I think that is a nice perfect, cool. yeah, a perfect ending for, for our first session. Yeah, there are like too many scams and like like projects back back air. I really like your projects because you got like a payment system that you can. You, uh, you got like NFT, like you, you also mentioned the metaverse and everything, which is cool. And next will be our community questions. We collect those questions from the Facebook, our Facebook, uh, Facebook group. So uh, the first question is um, what use cases we will, uh, we can see in the near future. So crypto payment online, Mm -hmm. Crypto payment in physical, meaning mm. you can pay with crypto on the terminal of your grocery store. Oh. FTF World Connect. I cannot mm. say what World Connect is, but that's a huge utility that is needed right now. Mm -hmm. And it won't require crypto knowledge, mm -hmm. meaning that anyone, even if you don't know what crypto is, will be mm -hmm. able to use World Connect. Mm -hmm. uh, those are the main utility that we are aiming mm -hmm. and striving for currently. Mm -hmm. Yes, there might be more in the near, the near future, but mm -hmm. those are the ones that we are fully focused on right now. Cool. Uh, that, uh, the first one, the payment, online and offline payment. Oh my God, that, that sounds so cool. I'm really looking forward to pay FCF mm -hmm. in the 7-Eleven nearby. Not only FCF, you'll be able to pay with whatever crypto the merchant accepts. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's not only FCF, mm -hmm. it's any crypto. Ethereum, Polygon, Bitcoin, BNB, mm -hmm. SafeMoon, Dogecoin, Shiba mm -hmm. Inu, whatever crypto it is, will mm -hmm. be able to be supported on the payment gateway. Oh, I, I got one question Like uh, from, from this question is, um, like we know that when we pay by uh, ETH, the gas fee is like really high. So when I yes. pay by uh, ETH, uh, do I pay just the, the fee for the platform or I also have to pay for the gas? As a client, as the, the customer, you only pay gas fee. The mm -hmm. merchant pays mm -hmm. the FCF fee. Oh. Obviously paying with uh, Ethereum, is mm -hmm. not the best token to use because of the gas mm -hmm. fee. But if you use Stellar Lumen or mm -hmm. if you use uh, XRP and tokens that are quick and no gas, cheap gas fees like Litecoin, this mm -hmm. is perfect to be used. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'll try not to use Ethereum. The gas is too expensive. Yeah, it's going to be too big. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, the second question is um, there is a one year liquidity lock. Um, but you have a plan on renewing two months before uh, expiring. Uh, can you tell us more about it, the lockup? So our liquidity has been locked for a year. Mm -hmm. And to avoid having people getting stressed <laughs> out before the end of the lock, mm -hmm. we're going to be yes. relocking it two months before. Mm -hmm. So people can see that it has been renewed and it's always going to get locked. The liquidity pool will never be unlocked. Oh, so, mm, got it, got it. 
Yeah, like uh, uh, I know, like for many other projects, when it's about the time, everybody's selling because they're panicked. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Cool. So the uh, the third question from the community is: um, Are you a registered payment service provider? Do you have any licenses? We don't have any licenses because we don't yeah. accept a credit card yet. Mm -hmm. So we don't need a license. So you, you we just, are part. Yeah. There's no uh, 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 like there's no fiat money involved. Exactly, oh. it's only crypto, so it doesn't require a license. We are partnering up with projects that do have the license, so mm -hmm. this can help us go faster because the license processing takes mm -hmm. a lot of time. Yeah, true, very true. And the fourth question is: uh, Will the merchandise store be a good revenue source? So the merchandise store was never to be a revenue source. It was more for the community to buy apparels and wear the apparel. It was never designed to be a place to make money. Mm. It's more for the community. Uh -huh, got it. And people will, will like want to like use this platform because it's convenient. And yeah, uh, yeah. yeah the next question is, Mm. Uh, do you have any plan to make your project multi-chain? Not really, mm -hmm. because we plan on having our own blockchain. Oh. So if we start building on Ethereum and Polygon and all the mm -hmm. other smart contracts, we mm -hmm. are wasting time and resources that we could just focus on building our blockchain in, instead of it. Mm. So what is the timeline? Like when you plan to launch your own blockchain? We'd like to do it in the next 48 months. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, the next question is, um, uh, I have seen a CFC uh, raffle. Uh, how, do you, uh, how do you get put into this raffle? And uh, what gives the best chance of winning? So we are creating a FCF raffle. Mm -hmm. The FCF raffle will allow people to buy lottery tickets mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and win FCF or BNB or even mm -hmm. NFT. It mm -hmm. is not live at the moment, but it will be eventually. Mm -hmm. So it will just be like maybe the pancake lottery? Similar to pancake lottery. Yes. Uh, I, I like that, although I never win, but I really love mm -hmm. it. Uh, the next question is, uh, you also bring up token quit, uh, and it has rewards for using it. Uh, can you tell me more about this token quiz thing? So token quiz was a platform that we were creating mm -hmm. two months ago, I think, mm -hmm. that was a marketing platform, and we wanted to use the revenue coming from that platform to fund the FCF pay gateway to build it. But Luckily, we did not need that money to build it. We had other sources. So we decided to just cancel that platform and not do token quiz. Token quiz was a side project and we no longer need it or wish to have to manage a side project. We focus strictly on FCF pay. Mm -hmm. Got it. So you, you're focusing on FCF pay and later on, yeah, like yeah. maybe you will have like more and more things on your uh, ecosystem. Exactly. Okay, the next question is why BNB reflection? Why not BUSD? Because BUSD is a stable coin. Mm -hmm. BNB is a token that, that can gain a lot of value. We want our holders that receive BNB to be able to leave their BNB and mm -hmm. have an even bigger source of income with it. Mm -hmm. So you are a BNB believer. I am a big BNB believer, yes. Uh -huh. So I hold my BNB. Uh, the next question is, is your business registered? And uh, where, where are you registered? Yes, the business is registered in Canada. Uh -huh. Got it. And uh, the last question, uh, will, uh, will you be um, venturing into the metaverse? I think you mentioned this part before. We did. We mm -hmm. are buying land in the metaverse mm -hmm. in the next two weeks, and we're going to be opening 
FCF um, NFT art gallery where you could go when you ha have the NFTs or want to buy NFTs, you'll be able to buy it in it. We are going to buy land to do billboards for our marketing in the metaverse. We mm -hmm. are also willing and working on implementing FCF pay into the metaverse. So you could be going in a store in the metaverse and paying through crypto through FCF pay. Cool. So yes, we are believers in the metaverse and we mm -hmm. want to tap in the metaverse. Okay. Um, thank you for, uh, that is the end of our second uh, session. Do you have any like a final words to share with our audience? And where can we find you? Like maybe we can find you on Twitter or like? We have Twitter, we have mm -hmm. Facebook, mm -hmm. we have Instagram, we have Telegram, mm -hmm. we have Discord. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have medium mm -hmm. and i'm pretty sure i'm forgetting something but we are everywhere but mainly it's mm -hmm. twitter and telegram uh so like twitter and telegram will be the easiest way to follow you so yes. they, so we how do we search just search the project name uh on twitter it's fcf mm -hmm. underscore bsc mm -hmm. uh -huh. on telegram it's French Connection Finance. You can find it if you go on the website. We have all the links from the website. Mm -hmm. The website is FrenchConnection.Finance. If okay. you go on it, you can find the NFT website. You can find all our social and all uh, all the communication pages. Thank you. And we are looking really looking forward for the launch of the uh, FCF Pay and the launch of. Uh, everything and the listing also. Uh, please make sure to keep us updated and welcome, like always, welcome back to our community to share your latest news. Oh, we will. Thank you for having us. It, it has been a pleasure. Uh, thank you so much and uh, all the best to the project. And thank okay. you. And uh, I also want to say goodbye to Godi. <laughs> I think our audience will definitely like love love him. He's here. So cute. <laughs> Goodbye, Godi. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Godi. <laughs> Perfect then. So mm -hmm. thank you for having us. Thank you for coming by and keep us updated. Bye bye. We will. Bye. Bye.